So hey guys and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about roller coasters coming in 2021. So looking past 2020 now and looking forward into 2021, these are roller coasters that have caught my eye for a variety of reasons and I wanted to talk about them on video. So some of these roller coasters won't be based in the UK, but like I said, they caught my eye so I wanted to talk about them anyway. Um, if you go on to like the video, please smack that like button, click that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single iCoaster video. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first roller coaster I'm going to be talking about today is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. This is opening at Epcot and is manufactured by Vekoma. Now this is going to be a pretty interesting spinning roller coaster. Um, so it's going to be a um, dock ride in most parts it looks like because the roller coaster is going to be spinning depending on what scene you are in during the ride. Now, whilst I haven't been to a Disney park myself, this is one um, that I'll hopefully get to ride in the coming years. Now, like most roller coasters on this list, there isn't a lot that's known about this specific roller coaster. Um, now, that's because it's still under construction. Saying that, the park have released pictures of the trains, which are on screen now, um, on social media recently. Um, I really like the design of these trains, mostly because I really, really like the um, Guardians of the Galaxy uh, movie series. Um, so seeing um, trains that are themed to that aesthetic um, is really, really, really exciting. I really think that this is going to be a great ride. So the next roller coaster that we're gonna be talking about today is Stunt Pilot at Silverwood Theme Park. So this is going to be a single rail RMC roller coaster um, with a height of 113 feet um, featuring three inversions. Now the layout is going to be very similar to the Wonder Woman Golden Lasso roller coaster that's at one of the Six Flags parks. Can't remember off the top of my head which one that is at the moment. So the park recently released some details about this roller coaster online via a video on their social media. On that video we got a little bit of a POV, not much um, but we got some details about what this roller coaster would be what it'd be themed to um, and how it would potentially ride so this roller coaster is going to be themed like the name suggests to a stunt pilot's plane so this roller coaster is meant to make you feel like you're flying a stunt plane through the air doing twists turns and all kind of crazy stuff so hopefully this is going to be a great roller coaster. Um, I imagine if um, Wonder Woman's Golden Lasso is anything to go by, it's going to be a nice, smooth, intense ride. Um, and again, in the future, hopefully I will get to ride this. So the next roller coaster that we're going to be talking about um, is Iron Gwazi at Busch Gardens Tampa Bay. This is the world's steepest and fastest hybrid roller coaster. So by hybrid roller coaster, um, this means that the roller coaster is built with both wood and steel. So Iron Gwazi is going to have a height of 206 feet. Um, it's going to have a top speed of 73 miles per hour and it's going to feature three inversions. In classic RMC style, they have really brought their A game to the table with this roller coaster. Watching the POVs that have recently been published online recently, this gives me sort of Zardra vibes um, from Energylandia. This RMC has a very similar layout to Zardra. In fact, I watched a video um, where they put um, a Zardra and the brand new Iron Quasi POV side by side um, and they looked very, very similar. So we're going to have to see if this is um, a unique experience. Again, like Stunt Plane, I'm hoping this is going to be a great ride experience um, and I have no doubt in my mind that it will be so. So next we have the unnamed Colossus clone at Flamingo Lands. This is going to feature Intamin's multi-inversion Rev B layout. So basically what that means is it's going to be very similar to Colossus at Thorpe Park, but the inversions are going to be slightly lower down and the um, drop is going to be a lot steeper. So whilst this roller coaster is new, it's being bought from a park in Malaysia and not directly from the manufacturer for a price of £20 million. So I'm expecting this to ride a lot better than Colossus at Thorpe Park. Um, it's newer, um, the 
track is lower to the ground, which means it's going to be getting a lot more speed and the forces should be a bit more intense. Also, I'm hoping that the restraint style is slightly revised on this roller coaster, um, as I find Colossus's restraint at Thought Park uncomfortable. So the park has given us no indication into what this roller coaster is going to be called. Um, there was a patent filed um, for the name inversion, but again, this could be wrong and it could be named completely differently. I'm hoping that the name is an inversion. I personally feel like they could come up with a more creative name than that. But if that was the case, I would be happy, I guess. But again, they could come up with something better. Again, this is one that I'm really excited to ride next year. Um, I'm definitely going to go out to Flamingo Land next year, record a vlog for you guys and get that up on the channel. So expect that. So our final roller coaster is Storm Chaser at Poulton's Park. Now this roller coaster is a really big deal for Poulton's Park because as well as the roller coaster opening, there is a whole new area of the park opening up called Tornado Springs. There's gonna be a brand new gyro swing flat ride, there's gonna be a driving school and a brand new restaurant in this area. Whilst this roller coaster does feature Mac's brand new style of track, this is actually going to be a clone of Sierra Sidewinder at Knott's Berry Farm. Now, if we look at Sierra Sidewinder at Knott's Berry Farm, this means that we can expect a drop of 39 feet um, and a top speed of 37 miles per hour. Now, again, whilst this roller coaster features no inversions, this is definitely a big deal for Poulton's Park, and hopefully it will put them on the map a bit more on the UK theme park scene. So guys, that's been today's video about roller coasters that are coming in 2021. Please let me know down in the comments which roller coasters you're looking forward to the most. Let's start a discussion. Also, smack that like button, click that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video from iCoaster. Also, I want to remind you about my Instagram account. There is a link in the description. I post news updates, photos, and interesting facts if you're interested. Again, link down in the description, or you can search iCoaster in Instagram, E-Y-E dot coaster. So guys, I've been Ryan from iCoaster, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.